guys, what's going on? This is always back with another video of Java Central Training Series. So this video is going to be about Java linked list. Okay. So Java linked list is used to store an ordered group of elements where duplicates are allowed as well. A linked list is based on a double linked list where elements of the list are typically accessed through add and remove method. Okay. So let me show you the syntax of creating a list here. So in my main method, I'm going to type linked list okay so as you can see that when i type linked list intellij idea is smart enough to import that uh, class for us so we have imported java.util.linked list class now so now in the angular brackets you can type what kind of list you are creating if it's int you can type int okay so it integer okay if it's a string you can type string Okay, let's make a string one and then you need to add a name of the linked list. So let's say my list is equal to new, which is a keyword to create a new linked list and type linked list. Okay, so we have created an object, my list, which is a linked list now. To add elements to a list now, it's very simple. All you have to do is just use my list dot add. When I type add or I don't type uh, just point, uh, put a decimal point. You can see all these methods available for your list now. So I'll explain a few of them in this video and the other ones you can check it out. It's not that hard. So add, which adds the element to the list. Okay. This is going to add the string. This is going to add index and string element as well. So remove, which basically removes the element. Add all. It's basically add all the elements okay so let's look at the add element first so i'm going to type let's say in because it's a string now so as you can see on intellij idea it's giving me suggestion that i have to define string okay so let's type uh, i'll type a name john okay oops and then let's get out of here my list dot add and i would say let's say my name always okay and then just get out of here okay my list dot okay so let's print that out first okay so to print that out i can use the for loop so for i'm going to use string let's say x is real name and i'll type my list okay and then here come down add a code block if it's only one statement you don't have to add a code block but i will still do it to not to get you guys confused but okay so as out and let's type x okay all right so let's run the program now so we have john and advice okay in the list now uh there are a few more methods i will show you here so if you type a my list dot and let's say you want to add okay and then here I can type the indexing. So the list start from zero index, right? So if I have zero and one, okay? So if I want to add this string on index one, so I'll type one comma, and then I will say, let's say, uh, David, okay? All right, so now let's have a look where is the David get printed. Let's run the program now, it should be get printed in the middle because so that's zero that's index one that's index two now it automatically sorted out for us all right so let's look at a few more methods available in linked list so i'll try i'm just gonna get rid of this okay let's say my list dot add first okay so let's say i'll add that david add you by using add first method all right so so we have David on the first name, okay? So even if I add now, let's say my list, okay? And I will say add, okay? I'll type on index zero, comma, and I will say Aisha, okay? And let's get out of here. All right, so now basically my list add zero, which is the first index in list, but let's see what happens, okay? so now we have aisha okay at first because when kambala comes down to this line it prints out john okay and then it goes down away okay and then it goes down to add first david okay 
and then it goes down to zero Aisha. So what it does basically, it sees that Aisha has to be on a zero index, which is the first index in the list. So it prints this out to the first, and then it goes to the David, because David, we said that uh, at first, after that indexing, because we're overriding that method, all right? So that's how it works, guys. Uh, it's very simple. All right, so that's about it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.